What is up ladies and gentlemen? Um, this is Dream Tech here and today I have kind of an important video and it's kind of an urgent video because I really want to educate everybody on this. This is something that we should be doing and I even forgot to do which is pretty bad um, on my iOS device um, as soon as I jailbreak. I should have done this. I haven't done it yet but I'm going to go through it with you guys to show you guys what you should do and why you should do this. This is critical to every iOS device user. Basically in an iOS device you have you know when you when you jailbreak your iOS device it opens up kind of a back door for it where you can get in and be able to get, install jailbreak tweaks but at the same time other people can get in you don't want this to happen this is bad they, they can access your personal information photos other files like that and it's just not good but there's a way to prevent other people from doing this and this is a very critical way so what you guys are going to need to do today is make sure uh, you open up Cydia here and I'm going to guide you guys through the simple steps here on how to do this. So, um, uh, let's see. So what you want to do um, is make sure you have um, uh, this application that I use, M Terminal, okay? M Terminal right here. And I know you might not know how to use a terminal or a command prompt or anything. You may have never used one before, but I'm going to guide you guys through the steps that you want to have today. Um, in order to to uh, uh, do this. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be opening this up and changing the access, uh, the, the password uh, to the root of your device so nobody else can get in but you because you're the only one that knows passwords. So I would recommend just for future, you never know, um, just to maybe write down this password somewhere, maybe on a piece of paper or maybe in your notes or whatever. I would highly recommend doing that because you always want to know the password for this either way. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So once you have this downloaded, um, head right into that application right here and you guys are going to be greeted with a black screen and what I would do to start off is SU just type in SU and return um, basically what this is SU just means super user so you're trying to be like the administrator and then go ahead and type in this password here this is default for every iOS device there is and that is exactly why hackers and stuff can get into your device um, because they already know the default password and if you haven't changed it they have right access into your fucking back door and they can come through your device and hack all your stuff so it's not going to show anything up here when you're typing but let me just go ahead and press return because I already typed it it's Alpine A-L-P-I-N-E and um, then there you guys can see it uh, gave us a second command line says we're in the root which means we are the administrative user and uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and type in is Pass WD, like password, but without the O and the R between the W and D. So password just like that, pass WD. Okay, and then press return. And um, so now it says changing password for root and the new password. Set that to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to make an example password for the video. Make sure it's a secure password. But like I said, guys, set it to whatever you want. Don't set it to what I have set it in the video. Set it to whatever you have on your mind, maybe a personal password or um, anything like that because you don't want anybody else but you getting into the root of your device because you don't want anybody else um, getting into your device for whatsoever reason. Just not a good idea. So I'm going to set mine to, um, we'll just say, uh, sandwich. Okay, I would recommend using numbers and ever to make it more secure, but I just type in sandwich. It doesn't show what you're typing in either. And uh, then it's gonna have you retype it one more time just for verification, you guys can see, return. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and just test it out. Um, so let me show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, close the terminal out here and um, go back in and we're gonna type in SU and then let's type in Alpine to see if it changed the old password. There you go, it says S super user incorrect password and let's go ahead and type in the new one here that I put in. Oh, okay, I had to type in SU again before that. Um, there we go, and it worked, I typed in sandwich. So like I said guys, change it to whatever password uh, you want to, you just want to make sure this is blocked off, you want to close on um, all loose ends on your device, obviously. Um, jailbreaking is great, but also opens up a backdoor in your device, guys, and you don't want that, trust me. I would rather have my personal files, my banking account information and stuff kept completely private, so um, it's very understandable that this method would be great. Um, so anyways, guys, that was uh, basically just something that you should really do before um, you, you start doing anything as soon as you jailbreak, um, because it's very critical that you do that, and um, like I said, 
do you want your personal information hacked or not, right? So anyways, guys, I know this is a quick video. I don't really, you know, I haven't been editing these quick videos just because I've been trying to pump them out as fast as I can to get more people noticing my channel. And I did get, um, from what I've seen, four more subscribers in the past two days. And I'm getting a lot of likes on the preview, the, the past two or three videos that I've that I've posted up so far. And I really appreciate that, guys. And I really want to give you guys um, as much of a great experience on my channel as possible. And I really do appreciate all the um, support that I've been getting getting from um, um, fans as well inbox messages comments I really appreciate that guys so much and remember uh, to like comment subscribe on this video I will talk to you in the comments if you guys have any questions or concerns I'm always there for you guys and I just want to let you know um, that I'll be putting more and more and more content out I'm gonna try getting video editing software try getting laptop stuff you know schools coming up I don't know I'm a little stressed out about this but whatever I just wanted to let you guys know that's a quick fix to uh, your security on your device. It'll help you. Yeah, it may not prevent um, people hacking your device. You always got to make sure you're not installing the wrong applications or any viruses. Always verify and look online to see if things are legit. But for the most part, that should really help you so other people can't hack in your device. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the password to my terminal after because I already showed you guys what my password was. So anybody who watched this video knows my password. And if they knew how to hack, they could totally do it. But that being said, I just wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial. And uh, yeah. Um, I hope you all appreciated the video and like I said, thank you to all my subscribers and uh, feel free to join um, uh, the Dream Nation um, as I may call it uh, and so hit that subscribe button, smash the shit out of that subscribe button. I'm really appreciating this guys. I really want to get something started up for you and uh, I'm really uh, passionate about doing this and giving every single one of you the best um, iOS tutorials. So um, that being said guys. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, you deserve it. And uh, this is Dream Tech signing out.